Ohio State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He kicks it. Number 89 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 35. It's not that often you're going to see a fair catch call on a kickoff. Brad, you're absolutely right, because typically there's enough blocking so the coverage can't reach the kick returner too quickly. Listen to this place. They'll give it off here. He jukes it. And he's tackled. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 41. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. Not a lot on that one. Third and four. Ball on their own 41. in the country and they are on their feet. They'll be stopped just short of a first down. Uh, so close yet so far away. I thought he had it. The drive stalls and they'll have to punt it away. He punts it. Number four fields at the 17. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. Ohio State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Push, drops back, looks, throws to the middle. Got it! They'll bring him down. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. It's first and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Here's the option. And he stopped behind the line. Second and long coming up here. Ball right around midfield. Bush on the option. Looking. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. You know, the quarterback just overshot this time. Nickel defense. Bush steps back to pass. He's looking. Rolls to the left. Throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. And this is a really gutsy call going for it in this situation. Look. He goes downtown. Incomplete. Coach, why would you go for it there? I'm still trying to figure that one out. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it's, it's only the first half. There's still a lot of football to be played. That's just a poor decision. Excellent field position to start the drive. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. The ball is tipped. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Michigan lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Steps up, looking, under heavy pressure. Gives a little pump fake. Across the middle. His receiver has it. He has some room. And he's tackled. 
What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play, and they ran it to perfection. It's first and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. For the first time today, we'll get to see how this defense responds when they're backed up into the red zone. They'll throw on first down. He's looking over the middle. Batted ball. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. They line up in the shotgun. They hand off on the counter. And he's taken down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. They're down in seven. This is the fifth play of this drive. Arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Throws this one out to the left. That pass falls incomplete in the end zone. Chalk that one up to the pressure in the quarterback's face. Absolutely. They had a tremendous rush coming in, and him, and it's all he could do to avoid the sack. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up. And it sails right on him. No good. They'll set up shot at the 20 yard line. Ace backfield. Bush on first down. Looks. He's rolling left. He's looking deep down the left side. Caught at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. What a display of pure speed. You know, Any time this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And if I was going to play, I would say, go run past everybody and we'll pull it to you. He can fly. distance. Number 32 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 36. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. The crowd really making it difficult. Drop back to pass. Across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 37. Number 12 is back in the gun. Counter right. And they got him for a loss. Three-yard loss there. Third down, 13. Ball on 34. This crowd is going crazy. Back to pass. Let's it go. Incomplete pass. Well, the defense could call there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. 39 gets it off. Number four fields it at the 30. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll 
They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. Ohio State goes with the ace set here. Bush off the bank, rolling out to the left side. He lets it go deep down the middle. He got it! He's all the way down to the 33-yard line. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Ohio State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Looking. He wants it all. Going long. Got it. He's all the way. Touchdown. The defense just can't keep up with it. He has lightning speed. He's just so quick and elusive after he catches it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Here's the kick. Let's get the call. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. The ball will be spotted at the 35 Well, if you're the return team, you got to like that one. Yeah, because you get great field position and nobody has to get hit. They'll take over. and they are turning it up a notch. Pitch left. Got an opening. Spin move. There's a missed tackle. Tackle. Nice pickup on that run. Here's a perfect example of running the toss play. Good pitch, good catch, and blocking was good enough up front to spring this tailback to a monster game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. The crowd really making it difficult. Across the middle. Got it. And he's taken down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and ten. Ball of the 22. Listen to this place. They'll bring him down. About seven yards on that carry. Second down and three to go. Ball on the 15. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Third down and three coming up. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Give it off here. Rock down. And he busts a big one on this defense. When this halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. He's 
looking down the middle. Touchdown, Michigan! They look for the big boy on that one, and he found him with no problem. That guy is a load to break down. Point. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive somewhere. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number four takes it from the six. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll start this drive at the 26. The Buckeyes line up with five receivers. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He rolls out to the left. Wants to throw outside. Got his man. And they bring him down. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Bush lines up with five wide out. And down he goes. The quarterback keeps it and gets five yards. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 43. Michigan has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Bush, back to pass, looks, he rolls left, across the middle. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Wow. Third and five, ball on the 43-yard line. Number 30, lines up in the deep back, eye formation, back to pass, looking, over the middle, someone put the hand out. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. Conservative about this play calling, fellas. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking. Rolls to the left. Throws this one out to the left. Into coverage, and the defense has it. He tries to spin. Packer. What an interception by the cornerback. This guy needs to be playing both sides of the ball. He can catch the ball better than some of these receivers. Set up shot at the 49. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Nice play fake. Look. He's going right. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Second and ten, ball on the 49. Michigan comes out in the shotgun, counter play. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defensive line was just too overpowering and didn't give the running back much of a chance there. Third and 11 coming up here, ball on the 50. Ohio State lines up in a dime defense here. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. Brought down. They'll get a good chunk of yards on that play, but they're still looking at fourth down. Maybe that will perk these guys up a bit and get them going on the next drive. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. 
He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number four takes it to 12. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 13-yard line. Ohio State comes out with five receivers. And they make the stop. Second and one coming up here. Ball on their own 22. Ohio State calls a timeout. Second and one. Ball on the 22. Inside handoff. And he's taken down. And the halfback picks up the first. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. He drops back. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Two minutes to go in the half. Bush goes with a play fake. Looking. Watch the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. Great. Passing situation here on third and long. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Buckeye come out in the shotgun. Uh-oh, high snap. Got an opening. They'll bring him down. Michigan takes a timeout. Well, looks like the coach is going to take a chance here and go for it on fourth down. High snap. And he shoved out of bounds. They went for it on fourth and didn't get it. I'm not quite sure what they were trying to prove with that. It's the first half, and they're going for it on fourth down. Two words for you, Kirk. Dumb call. Play it safe and punt the ball next time. Single set back for you. Wants to throw outside. It's deflected. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Second and ten, ball in 34. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Back to pass. Under pressure. Across the middle. Off his hands and incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Here we go. He's looking. Across the middle. Couldn't haul it in. That was a calculated risk there, don't you think? Yeah, I think it was. Sometimes you have too much confidence in your offense, and it cost them there as they turned it over on down. 
They'll go to work at the 34-yard line. The Wolverine line up with six defensive backs. He drops back. He's rolling left. Throws this one out to the left. And he threw that one up for grabs. This is one of the things that drives a coach crazy. You don't want to do anything stupid. Make mental mistakes that may cost you the ball game. Second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Ohio State lines up in a shotgun set. Tackle. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 37. Michigan has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. Throw. Complete. And they make the stop. And the catch results in a first down, barely. Yeah, barely is right. They were very lucky in that spot. Whoa, was that close or what? It's first and ten. Ball on their own 44. The Buckeye set up in the gun. Bush drops back on first down. Rolling out to the left side. Batted ball. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Second and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Buckeye go with the eye formation. Bush drops to throw. Throws to throw. The ball is tipped. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Wolverine line up in a nickel battle. And that's the tackler. And they got him for a loss. Michigan calls a timeout. They come out in a punt formation. they went for it there. Yeah, me too. It's still only in the game to have to gamble like that. You have to question the play calling there that puts a lot of pressure now on their defense. They'll take over at the 47-yard line. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Drops back to pass. Looks. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. First half of play, our halftime score, Ohio State 12, Michigan 6. Michigan got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 26, fields it at the three. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Wolverine bring in their dive package. He drops back. Looking. He rolls out to the left. He zips it out to the left. Batted ball. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep. Total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 23. The Buckeye come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He's looking. He rolls left. 
Wants to throw outside. Got it. He's got an open at the point. And he's brought down. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And he ran it to perfection. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. Bush on first down. Looks. Rolls to the left. He's going right. Batted ball. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. Michigan comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Play action. Looking. He's rolling left. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. A little too high for his receiver. When you throw the football into the end zone, you've got to be extremely accurate. You don't have any room for air. Third down and 10 coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Buckeye come out in the shotgun. Big open. He shoved out of bounds. It's first and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. Rolling out to the left side. Throws this one out to the right. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Second and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Ohio State comes out with five receivers. Snap is high. He's on the run. Tangle. We'll line up in a jumbo set here. He's got to throw it in a hurry. A big time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with the pressure to bring down the quarterback. They come out in a goal line set. Brought down. He keeps it and gets about five. time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Listen to this place. He drops back. He steps up. Looks. Throws this one out to the left. It's tipped. Incomplete. 
Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 43. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Wants the middle. Finds a man. He tries to juke. Excellent open field tackle. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. They're really struggling now. This crowd is going absolutely insane. They go with a run. And down he goes. He rumbles ahead and picks up about five. Second down and five. Ball on the 27-yard line. Michigan sets up in the eye. They go with a pitch to the right. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 27. Michigan comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Steps up. Throws it out there. Way to look it in. Nothing gained on the play. Number 38 lined up for the field goal. He's going to need some distance on this one. The kick is up. It hits the crossbar and bounces through. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Number four, fields it at the one. He juked. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. The Wolverine line up with six defensive backs. Bush drops back on first down. Throws it to the outside. What concentration. He appears to have been injured on the play. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 46. Ace backfield. Back to pass. Looking. He rolls out to the left. He's going left. Off his hands, incomplete. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up, and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. you got to give this guy a break. I don't know about that, Coach. Nowadays, tight end's got to be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. Second and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Number 30 is the single setback. He's looking. He rolls left. Aaron and out long. Here's an opening. He gets another, and this is a big one. This receiver has had a heck of a game. He's done so well that he's about to break the school record for receiving yards in one game. That's right, sweetheart. And I don't see anybody on that defense who's going to keep him from getting it. This kid is really good. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Bush set to go to the air. Rolls to the left. He's under some heat. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. There was just not enough people to block. And when there ain't enough, you're going to get me. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Field goal is the difference as we head to the fourth quarter. It's second and goal. Ball on the 18. 
The Buckeye line up with five receivers. Big opening. Michigan has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Touchdown, Ohio State. The quarterback took it in for six. The key to that throw was the push by the offensive line. They said, we're going to run right at you. You can't stop. This one's simple. Kick the PAT. Point. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Number 85 looks ready to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Got a penalty on this one as it goes out of bounds. Let's get the call. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. You don't see that many kickoffs go out of bounds. That ball just came off his foot all messed up. We'll see if he's going to make a habit of that. Let's start this guy at the 40 yard line. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. They go with a pitch to the right. And he's going to lose yards on this one. They might want to run away from that guy next time. Second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He throws it, and it's caught. Tackle. They went with the screen pass. Well, they went with the screen there, but the defense was prepared. They were ready for it. Third and 14, ball in the 36. Talk about home field advantage. And it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. You gotta relax and just make a good throw. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 39 gets it off. Number four takes it at the 32. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll go to work at the 32. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Bush to the air on first down. He's rolling left. He throws a dart to the left. Couldn't haul it in. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was. And it was a catchable ball. Going right at him. He just didn't catch it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32. Ohio State comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Looks. Rolling out to the left side. Fires across the middle. Someone's got a hand on it. There's an athletic play by the linebacker. Listen up, my friend. Nowadays, linebackers need to be able to do more than just stop the run. they got to be able to fly all around the field and play the pass, too. Third and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Buckeye set up in the gun. Here he goes. And he's tackled. First and ten, ball on their own 48. Michigan has all their DBs in for this five wide set. He rolls out to the left, lets it fly. And he drops it. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball. Going right at him. He just didn't catch it. Second and ten, ball right around midfield. 
The Wolverines line up in a nickel back. Drops back to pass. Looking. He rolls left. Throws. Got it. He goes down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. It's first and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. They line up in an eye. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Rolls to the left. Throws this one out to the right. Touchdown, Ohio State. A great throw. And that's his second touchdown catch of the game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass. And the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication. And number 15, back to return. Kicks it off. Number 17, takes it to 15. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three out so fast they had to ask for slow mo replay to retake. They'll take over at the 25. They'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Under heavy pressure. Looks across the middle. Tipped away. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players you. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Wolverine. Line up in a split back set. Back to pass. Looking. Short talk. It falls incomplete. The tailback, the intended target. Well, here the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 25. It's absolutely deafening down there. He drops back. Over the middle. Got him to his receiver. And he's taken down. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver is there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. He's going right. And it's incomplete. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was the exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull faster. It's second down and ten to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Rolls to the right. Pumps once. The ball is tipped. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. Personal foul. Dropping the passer. You know, this is all about discipline. The team that doesn't commit penalties is the one with great discipline. And that can be a huge factor in winning football games. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Listen to this place. Back to pass. Throws a lob pass out to the left. Complete. A little juice. And down he goes. Good yardage there, and that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. Looked like the defense might have been looking run. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Throws this one out to the right. Here's an opening. Brought down. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. They're in the red zone, where last time they came away with only a field goal. And it's caught. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. No gain. The 
The Wolverine line up with three wide. The option left. Fakes the pitch. And they got him for a loss. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. Steps up in the pocket. He's rolling left. Fumble! And they hit him in the backfield. So they'll keep possession of the football. Good heads up play right there to see the loose ball and get on top of it. Not much choice here. They have to try for it. Down the middle. And he came down with it. What a catch! The defender had no shot at breaking up that touchdown pass to the wideout. He was caught a little out of position. Yes, indeed. As expected, they'll go for two points. Ohio State takes a timeout. Michigan lines up in a pro set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Spinning, and he's taken down. This is the right call here. The goal for two. You're right. They try to sneak it in on the ground, and the defense was ready for him that time. Michigan lined up in an onside kick formation. With the onside kick. They were really looking to get the ball back. Yeah, but it's not over yet. They can still get a three and out or come up with a turnover. Congratulations to our Old Spice players of the game. Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Buckeye come out in the ace formation. Bush to the air on first down. Rolling out to the left side. Rifles this one out to the left. Incomplete pass. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Michigan brings in the nickel here. Looks. He rolls out to the left. Heaves a long one down the middle. Into traffic, and it's picked off. And that was their second interception of the game. They'll set up shot at the 16-yard line. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. He drops back. He steps up, looking. He's looking down the middle. Batted ball. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. Quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Number five, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Got him. They'll bring him down. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Listen to this place. Back to pass. He's looking. He's rolling right. Under pressure. And they got it. Michigan calls a timeout. Second and long. Ball on the 37-yard line. So this crowd is making their presence felt. He drops back. Looks. He's under pressure. It's deflected. That one could have been an interception. Passing situation here on third and long. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking. He's in trouble. And they get the sack. The pressure got to him that time. Now they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. Can't hear a thing down there. Step 
steps up in the pocket. He's going right. Batted ball. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big-time plays. They'll start this drive at the 29-yard line. Michigan comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's looking. He rolls left. He passes it. Intercepted in the end zone. A costly turnover there, guys. He should have never thrown it. Yeah, the last thing you want to do as a quarterback is force a pass to the end zone. Now they come away with nothing. They'll get the ball here at the 20. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't. And I'll tell you what, the quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up, looks. He rolls out to the right. He lets it go. The ball is tipped. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. First of the foul. Walking the passer. That'll move him forward. And they're loving it. Anytime you can get three yards, you'll take it. First and ten. Ball in the 35. This one's over, folks. This time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Ohio State faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2005. And our final score in this one, Ohio State 24, Michigan 15. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.